Well, let's continue with that story. Take you live to Benoni, where Mbali Tutani is our reporter monitoring the ANC conference in Gauteng. Mbali joins us now live. And Mbali, David Makura, the soon-to-be former chairperson of the ANC in the province, delivered a political report. What's his assessment of where the ANC is in the province as he leaves the leadership? Certainly, Temegil, of course, we saw the outgoing chairperson of the Gauteng province in the ANC, David Makura, giving that address a bit earlier on. Of course, you would know that he has indicated, even in the past, that he is not available for another term at the helm. And you'd know that he has been within the ANC and in that position for more than 22 years, if I understand correctly. And of course, uh, talking about the issues around uh, Gauteng being the problems around you know, the key metro municipalities that the party lost, uh, reflecting on those 2021 uh, elections, those local government elections, and of course saying that as the ANC, it is a cause for concern uh, when it comes to, you know, a number of experts would say looking into how the ANC performed during the 20, uh, uh, 2021 local government elections going into the 2024 uh, elections, uh, one would say that they are indeed losing their grip on Gauteng. Also in that report, Temegile, speaking around, you know, those political parties which uh, have come into the political terrain, uh, the likes of the EFF and the likes of Action SA, who continue uh, to take uh, those voting numbers in this province away uh, from the ruling party, Temegile, of course, uh, saying that uh, it they almost dipped below 50% uh, during the last elections. And, of course, this is something that they will actually have to spend a lot of time talking about those policies of the ANC and essentially going back to the ground uh, because they did indeed take a, 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 a beating and a half, uh, losing the likes of Tswane, losing uh, the Johannesburg region, also then losing the Akurleni region. But, of course, they are saying that they are... Uh, you know, while they gather here, they will be spending a lot of time looking into, you know, the performance of the ANC and essentially, you know, how the party plans uh, to tackle the 2024 uh, national elections. But I'm going to bring in uh, the outgoing uh, chairperson of uh, this province. It is indeed David Makura. As you can see him there, Tembegile, he's just, I'm just going to ask him to come a bit closer. Mr. Makura, we saw you uh, indeed uh, you know, giving your report a bit earlier on, showing a bit of concern there, not even a bit of concern, really speaking to the concern of the ANC, uh, dipping below 50%, and you're saying that as a province, these issues need to be discussed so that the ANC, when we look at the trajectory of the party, a number of people would say that, uh, you know, looking at the ANC gaining 50%, um, you know, in uh, the 2024 elections, you will really need to work hard to ensure that uh, you do indeed uh, get that 50 percent. Yes, uh, certainly. I mean, uh, we, we do want to work hard to address uh, the fundamental issues that uh, got many people to stay away from uh, the local government elections and, and, and essentially this would be in the areas and the constituencies where the ANC has had, uh, previously gained lots of support. So, and, and we know what the issues are. We've done our own work. We've done our own assessment. We know what people's uh, assessment of the ANC uh, is. And uh, that's really what uh, we would like this conference to focus on. And in the, in the political report that uh, I gave earlier on, I confronted those issues head on. Uh, and that's what the ANC needs, uh, that kind of surgical, we can't paper over, over it. And that, that's really basically that uh, people see us as a, a kind of self-absorbed, self-interested, inward-looking looking organization, and that they don't matter. Uh, and that's, that's really a, a fundamental departure uh, from what the ANC exists for, uh, and renewal for us must cut deep. It must not just be about fixing, uh, uh, papering over the cracks here and a preoccupation with uh, just unity. Uh, uh, we, yes, unity is important. Uh, renewal must really be, as I say, a surgical overhaul. We must cut deep uh, uh, about uh, the capabilities, 
and the capacity, the moral and intellectual authority of the ANC to deliver on, on transformation. Uh, and, and essentially, uh, that's what uh, we, would, we would like uh, to do. And we are having the whole day tomorrow uh, in commissions uh, looking at those issues. Uh, we will complete the report tonight. Uh, and fortunately, this message we, I delivered earlier on is what we went to every regional conference. We're forcing ANC structures, including in communities, to answer this question. What do you exist for? What are you spending your time doing? Where are the people uh, in, in the, all the things you are doing? Where do you place the people, it's issues, the burning issues of the community, uh, of, of a region? And that's, that's what uh, rebuilding and renewal for us is that uh, refocusing the ANC on the issues that affect people. Looking into this conference, uh, we're told that it would start on time, it would start even a day early, but of course we didn't see that coming through. Issues around Ekurulene is still coming to the fore. You as the PEC had to be, you know, locked in meetings with the NEC and so forth. You know, how difficult was it for you as the ANC in Gauteng to try and iron out the issues when it comes to those quarantined votes? I mean, we, we saw it, uh, you know, being a problematic issue during the Ekurulene conference, and it seems to also be a major problem for this conference. You know, when you talk about those meetings you held, I mean, that issue has now been brought back to you as a PEC to try and deal with it. How difficult uh, was it for you to actually deal with this issue? Uh, it wasn't difficult because uh, the NEC only referred this matter to us uh, uh, this morning because the NEC meeting uh, was held uh, last night. Uh, and if we got uh, this matter earlier in the week, uh, we would have resolved it. Uh, but the main thing today, this morning, was just to come through. Fortunately, we know the, the details of that issue. Uh, uh, when it happened, that Monday, I, I was at the conference. That immediately on that Monday, the national uh, officials set up a task team uh, that undertook a whole process. So the matter was referred back to us uh, essentially this morning. This, uh, the, the Treasurer General wrote a letter to us and we, we, we came together this morning and said we have uh, many issues of just wanting to ensure the conference goes okay. We know these are five branches only. We don't want to focus on five branches and, and lose sight of the big issues of this conference. It's a fairly straightforward issue, as I said. If, it, if it's something that uh, the P the PC was given earlier in the week, we would have uh, dealt with it. We just need one more process uh, for us to deal with. Uh, uh, so, so the Ekurulen issue is a, a matter that uh, we, uh, I think everybody is agreed uh, here that we want the ANC Provincial Conference uh, not to be bogged down uh, on one or two, three, four, five branches. Uh, the people of Soweto, the people of uh, Mamilodi, the people of Katlewong, the people of Sharpville, if you think uh, of, of the people of Kahiso as examples of the townships we have, the people in those communities uh, would like to know uh, where they feature in the discussions in this conference. Uh, so the administrative issues are important. We must always just do them as a matter of routine. Uh, but uh, this conference uh, has a much bigger agenda. And if you ask me, I think uh, uh, 2024, yes, is uh, on our side. But uh, you don't just focus on elections. You've got to focus on the, the un underlying issues that will uh, get people out to vote. Uh, and, and we know those issues very well. I spend a lot of time today uh, talking about the impact of a whole range of uh, uh, of, 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 of factors and trends, which many of which are global, but the impact of those on governance in Gauteng, the nature of Gauteng, uh, is such that uh, it's a magnet. Uh, and, the, and this conference, uh, uh, in each of the areas of governance, we want to come out with solutions. So that's the big agenda issue for us. All right. Of course, uh, you have indicated that uh, you will not be coming back. Uh, into this position and you're not uh, available to serve as chair again. Gauteng, looking at those vying for this position, we know that you know, there are these two slates. According to you, what kind of a leader does the ANC in Gauteng need right now when you step out of your role? Uh, well, uh, this province uh, 
has played a very unique uh, role in the development and evolution of the, uh, the struggles of uh, the people of South Africa, struggle for, for, for democracy uh, uh, in, from, from the early, uh, 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 the formative years, what we call the formative years of, of the ANC. So the kind of leadership collective uh, and individuals at the helm of, uh, of the ANC in this province uh, will have to be uh, people who can earn the respect of a whole range of, because how thing is more complex. Uh, so you have a very developed working class base here, uh, and by well developed, very active in trade unions, and very critical, very organized. But you also have a, a very substantial uh, uh, middle strata, middle class, very substantial, uh, also very critical, uh, and, and, and fairly, uh, uh, a fairly uh, 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 developed as well, entrepreneurial uh, group of business people uh, who have historically identified with ANC positions. So you need a leadership that can carry that. And it's a, it's a, it's a, a province also that has got a significant youthful population. It's not just youth, it's not any youth. And amongst this, some of these young people are fairly learned young people, very, very sharp uh, young people. They are very critical, very reflective. So you need, so I think over time, uh, a, a, a whole lot of us who have had an opportunity to be at the, the helm of the, the province, we have sought to blend these different traditions, the trade unions, organized uh, uh, working class, uh, other working class organizations, the intellectuals. So you need some substance. And I'm, I don't want to say that uh, we have always been striving to have that kind of depth to know you can go and address uh, uh, professionals and business people and make sense. But the whole ANC must look at uh, uh, its ability to harness these forces. As I say, Gauteng is a fairly, we have a so, fairly sophisticated, we have done also an assessment, a skills audit uh, of the membership of the ANC in this. We've got a fairly sophisticated membership uh, in that sense. So, so that's what that leadership ne needs to be able to, uh, to navigate all that and inspire people and win their confidence. And yet we've got also uh, lots of problems, poverty, uh, 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 unemployment, we've got people who, uh, food insecurity and hunger, urban hunger, uh, food insecurity. That, the, the, the urban precariat, people who live on the periphery of urban society, on the periphery of our cities, who live very precarious lives. They too, many of them come from different, the countryside, some come from some countries, and they are here looking for a better life. Even they too need to be led and inspired. So it's a complex job. Thank you very much. Of course, Timigile, that is the outgoing chairperson of the ANC in Gauteng, David Makura, uh, just touching on you know, the kind of caliber of leaders uh, that uh, this province will be needing, especially as they try to vote those supporters, especially for the 2024 elections. Although saying that it's not really about elections, but they need somebody who's well-rounded or who understands uh, people from all spheres of life uh, right. to lead the ANC in Gauteng. But of course, we understand that there are still some outstanding uh, issues that they will be tackling. Uh, this is the organizational report that they'll still uh, be looking into later on today. Uh, there is as well uh, the, tre uh, the provincial treasurer uh, who will be doing that uh, treasurer's report. Tembegile. Bali, a long night ahead for you for now. Thank you very much for that update from Benoni.